Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn how to use MeGo command for goods movement and that is used for different type of purposes. To start, we will write MeGo in our main transaction tab and I will press enter. After pressing enter, we will have different options available in front of me. On the top left side, I have these type of options available which I can use to get my required result from Miko. First of all, it's goods received. That is used to create a number against a particular purchase order once its delivery is received. The second one is transfer posting. The transfer posting is used to transfer a particular material or its stock from one storage location to an other storage location on same plant or warehouse. This is the transfer posting. The third one is cancellation. Cancellation is used to cancel or reverse a specific material document that have already been executed previously like it can be some movement or it can be some goods received etc so this cancellation is used to cancel that material document on the fourth its goods issue this transaction is used to issue or to send particular material codes from one storage location to another cost center normally this this goods issue command is used for the issuance of spare parts or the maintenance orders to have complete issuance of the components available in that maintenance order next one is the display display command is used to have the complete visibility of any material document that we will enter in its material document tab. It will show us all the required details of that specific material document. For example, I have a document number. I will enter in this tab right over there and it will show me all the components inside that material document. For example, I have entered uh, a specific material document number and now it, it will show me there is some, you know, a processing gap. It will show me all the details of this document number uh, in the, through this command. So display is a very useful command to get all the internal details of a specific uh, material document. So you, here you can see I have entered this document number and now it has shown me all the components that are available in this material document. It have carbon dioxide, LBL, cloyer, shrink, stretch, separator, cotton, etc. So these and the movement type have been executed to post or confirm a specific quantity of these raw material through this material document number. So you can see that the, there are a lot of options available in Miko and uh, we can have a complete visibility that is place in storage. For example, if we want to reserve a specific uh, material code or its stock in a, in, a, in a specific storage location, then we will uh, enter that material document number through which that movement has already been executed and then we will uh, put that uh, material and it's all the components in the storage next one is the release gr blocked status if goods received is blocked due to any reason for example we have not uh, you know we have not uh, we have not got the complete delivery or the quality of material is not good that we have just received then this command is used to release that blocked stock for example we have put that stock in the blocked status due to any reason and this command will use to release that stock 
from the blocked status so you can see and there are a lot of different options available in this command and we can use it for any of our desired purposes as per our need and uh, requirement so the next one is remove from st storage so in in this command uh, we we can remove any uh, material document number from the storage that we previously you have seen that uh, the same window was used to put some specific material document components in the storage now this one is used to remove all of these from the storage so you, you can see this is a, a like a reversal type thing i will put the uh, text here of the material code its quantity its storage location its plant etc and so it will remove that material code from its uh, storage so the uh, another one is a return delivery if he, we want to return the delivery mark of specific material document or material code i will just enter the material document number or i have an option of delivery note i can enter the delivery note as well and it will return that delivery back to its original position uh, through this command so it can undo a delivery through uh, this code so you can see there there are a lot of options available here uh, that we can use in our daily routine to get the desired results or the desired uh, transactions so uh, i'll go back to the first one that is the most popular one that is the goods received that is used to create a goods received number once a delivery is received against a particular purchase order so here i will this is the first main tab that is the selection of the uh, first criteria of what we want to do and the other is the required data that is available for example for goods received i have these type of options available if i have any inbound delivery document available i have material document i have order i have outbound delivery document purchase order reservation the transport or the transport id code if i have any of these available i can create a goods received number for that particular purchase order so it's very important to have the required data in front of us and then we can use any of these options uh, to create the goods received number so this command or transaction has made our lives very easy because we can use any of uh, the available option as per our uh, available uh, data so, so for the first case in purchase order uh, we have to you know write any purchase order here and then have, we have to press enter and if that purchase order have something available for goods received then it will show the, all the details below below here but if uh, these things are not available you know if all the uh, goods received are done against all the line items of that purchase order then it will show us the below error that it does not this purchase order or this document number does not contain any selectable items uh, to complete the gr so in this way we can you know complete the GRN of any uh, document that we want to have it done so this is a very useful similarly if i select for example a material document then i will enter the material document tab here and it will show me the uh, the required data available but you know in case of different type of material documents like if the material document is related to uh, the movement of goods movement of raw material or the finished goods then you know we cannot create its gr gr is specifically for some uh, uh, deliveries that we receive from outside like the purchase orders and the stos the stock transfer orders so for these type of things we cannot you know uh, move uh, the elements through gr so the another example that i want to execute in front of you it's goods issue what is the goods issue it is used to you know issue some particular item 
that we want to do the another one is the transfer posting in the transfer posting uh, I just have to you know uh, you can see the detail here I just have to enter uh, a specific material code and its stock and I have to enter to enter from where I want to move this particular stock to which destined story location so here I will enter the material code for example it's uh, XYZ and it here I will enter the plant what is the plant maybe it's 3003 I will enter the soil location that is for example 9951 and it is the destined soil location to which storage location I want to transfer this uh, material for example I will have to move it to 9953 maybe from 95 to 53 so here I will enter the quantity maybe I want to move the thousands of kg maybe it is in kilograms so in the other tab I will enter you know the material it's again its quantity and it's where uh, what is the movement type that I want to use I have entered 311 where it is the plant to 3003 the soil location double line wire 53 and good recipient I can enter just name maybe it's Ali or uh, John or XYZ maybe so what is the text if you want to enter some text or the details so after but doing all of these I will you know press for check first and then if it is showing me any error I will resolve that error and but if it shows that everything is okay the transfer posting is okay then I will uh, press the post button to move to move that stock from one story location to other story location so in this way you have learned that this command Miko is very useful uh, to have multiple uh, actions that we want to uh, execute in our daily professional lives so for any question you can just write in uh, comment section please like share and subscribe to this video and subscribe to our channel uh, until next time thank you bye bye